Hi, my name is Stacia and you're watching Joint Freak TV. Today we'll discuss RIAA's infringement notices, is Hurt Locker still being downloaded, how to get your money back from Comcast, and where to get your free VPN service. All this and more coming up in 7 seconds. It is nothing new that the RAAA has been trying to stop music downloading by sending out infringement notices. And it is nothing new that this tactic has done nothing to compact piracy. RAAA stopped suing individuals a long time ago, and nobody really cared to think what RAAA is doing to stop piracy now. This week, the RAAA revealed that they have sent 1.8 million infringement notices since October 2008. That's almost a million a year. All these notices, however, only serve as warnings, and there's nothing to worry about. Hurt Locker is a movie that was not getting any special attention on peer-to-peer -peer networks until it had won an Academy Award. The number of times the movie has been downloaded since that day is somewhere far up in the millions. In May this year, filmmakers targeted 5,000 people who downloaded the movie. One would think that this would deter people from downloading the movie, but according to torrentfreak.com, the number have stayed exactly the same. Funny enough though, I would think that the filmmakers would target the websites which are providing the files, but I guess they rather make money from the individuals through lawsuits. In 2007, customers of the internet service provider Comcast started noticing that their peer-to-peer -peer sessions were very slow and something seemed to be wrong with their internet. While Comcast fought off the rumors, the company eventually admitted that they were slowing down peer-to-peer -peer traffic or in some cases blocking it altogether. John Hart was a Comcast customer who filed a class action lawsuit against the company. Due to him, Comcast has to pay 16 million US dollars to the customers who were affected. If you were one of the people affected, you have until August 29th to file a claim in order to receive your portion of the settlement. <coughs> VPN services allow Torrent users to continue using their Torrent clients knowing that they are anonymous and cannot be tracked. In the past, we reported about a free VPN service available by It's Hidden. In the past year, It's Hidden added more than 300,000 members with a free account. A few months ago, the company disabled the new signups, but for a short period of time, they are once again accepting new members. So hurry up until it lasts. <laughs> Don't forget about the special offer from Binverse, where you can get a two-week trial and download more than 155 gigabytes at fast speeds. Head over to binverse.com slash offer slash torrentfreak and see for yourself if this offer is something you might like. <laughs> This is it for today. Make sure you follow me on Twitter to see what I'm doing. Just go to twitter.com slash torrentfreaktv and drop me a comment. Also, watch our past episodes at www.torrentfreak.tv. My name's Daisha, and thank you for watching Torrent Freak TV. RIA has been... Okay. It is nothing new that the RIAA has been trying to stop music downloading by, see, by sending out infringement notices. Blah, blah, blah. It's nothing new that this is... That this tactic, nothing new that the, that this tactic notices. And it is nothing new that this tactic has been do nothing, God. Go slow. And it is nothing new that this tactic has been, has nothing. Has done nothing. Okay.